So I'm gonna start with the Dollar Tree stuff first. I have everything out on my desk, but it's not organized. Um, so I'll try and do categories as much as I can. Um, but just to start with cleaning to get it out of the way. So I got this Rust Lime Calcium Cleaner from LA's Totally Awesome. I have the hardest time trying to clean the black textured tiles in my bathroom, like on the floor. It always leaves like a white residue and I'm thinking it may be like calcium deposit from the, the water, I don't know. So I bought this to try on there to see if I can get the white like marks off because even though my floor in there, I could, it could be freshly mopped, it still looks dirty because of these like white spots. So I'm gonna try that. And then I grabbed some more heavy duty shower cleaner foam. Um, I have one can of it, but my shower's huge. And I finally got the extendable like scrubber thing to be able to clean it. And I think I'm gonna need two cans. So I picked up another one. And um, I think that may be all for cleaning stuff. Um, I'll just go ahead and do some of the Easter. So I found one of these little gumball machines and um, this is actually the only one they had. Like it was just sitting there by itself and at first I thought maybe it was broken or cracked or something, but it's totally fine so I grabbed it. And this is the one I wanted anyway. I know they had the pink one with the bunny, but I wanted this little Easter egg one. Um, and then I got these Starburst jelly beans to go with it. Um, these are actually really good. I used to have a coworker who had like pre-COVID days, she would have a dish like in her office with these jelly beans in them. And I would sneak in there and like pull the red ones out all the time. Um, so I'm hoping they're small enough to come through the little gumball things, but that's what I got these for. And I did get an Easter sign. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, here it is. I picked up this Easter sign. They didn't have that many signs out yet at my store. Um, but they had this one with Happy Easter and I really got it because I love this one. I may end up deconstructing it and just using this one like in a tiered tray or in a wreath or some sort of arrangement because I think it's really cute. But the Happy Easter part is nice too. So I grabbed that. And actually that may be all the Easter items. I did grab one St. Patrick's Day thing um, just to stick them up on the fridge, on the side of my fridge. Um, I grabbed this little guy, it says Happy St. Patrick's Day, and I just think he's really cute. And the level of detail on this is good. Um, they had another one that ha the guy had like brown hair, and that one was really cute too, but for some reason like they were all bent and smashed up, but this one's in really good shape. And then I found these um, Wi-Fi password signs. Although I don't know if I did this, I didn't see like this in the store. So it could have been me like putting it in the bag, but it's like scraped and like scratched right here. But it's otherwise the chalk's actually intact. And I wanted this particular version because I have the heart shaped Wi Fi sign, but I don't love the heart shape as much. So I'm glad I was able to pick one up that's just kind of a little more basic, square and I can kind of use it, you know, in an office or, you know, in a, I could use it at home, of course, but I think it's also a little more appropriate to use in an office than the heart shape. And I picked up a few items for my dog because I'm gonna create like a little package for him. because so I've been thinking about him a lot lately, I miss him. Um, so, I had gotten him some of these that were like cactus shape and pineapple shape and he loved them. So now they had the little ice cream cone and the donut. Um, and I know he's gonna like that. And then I also got him just some snacks that looked interesting. So this is Kind Rewards No Hide Stuffed Twists. It's peanut butter flavor filled with beef. And then these sweet potato and duck sticks from Nature's Choice. That's the dog stuff. Um, toiletries. I guess I did get a couple of things. So I grabbed this poof with the little handle just because the um, like poof that I have is wearing out and I thought it'd be nice to try this one with the handle so I could get my back. Um, and it, it looks really nice and I like the muted blue color of that. 
And then I grabbed a couple of these Scuncy head wraps. I feel like I have one of these in a different um, like pattern and I use it all the time. Um, so I grabbed these because I liked the prints on them. And with my hair getting longer, like I am wearing more headbands just to kind of keep it out of my face. And I think these would be nice to just kind of make, like, make myself look a little bit better when I'm on Zoom calls. Um, and then I did grab two of these, yeah, two of these Kiss Nails in the short and they're like a gray type of color. I've never worn fake nails, but I've always wanted to try them. Um, and I like these because they seem like they're short enough. I don't want super long ones. And I've heard, like, I see everyone on YouTube doing these fake nails. So I thought I'd try them out. I grabbed two packs just because... Like, I wanted to make sure I had the right sizing for all of my fingers. And to be honest, I'm a little hesitant because I think some of them might be too small. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how they work out. And from what I understand, all you need is, like, these fake nails and super glue. Which, I have super glue, but I don't know. We'll see how they work. Because I'm terrible. Like, I paint my nails, but they chip right away. Um, and I'm hoping that with like these fake nails, they'll look nice for a longer period of time. Um, I did grab these orange stick ups. I love to put these down in the cabinet where I keep my trash in the kitchen um, and I was out of them. So I picked up another pack. Uh, I guess I can do, oh, this is also a bath item. So, they finally, finally put these out at my Dollar Tree. These were out like a long time ago. Everyone else was hauling these. But I swear my Dollar Tree just has everything hidden in the back room. Um, and they're only putting things out now. They were, they had these, the rainbow ones. And then they also had the ones from Valentine's Day that said like love or were just like had hearts. Um, so yeah, I grabbed this. I don't know that I'm gonna keep it for myself. I think I'm gonna do a little Easter package for um, my cousin's granddaughter. And I think I might stick this in there for her. She's two. And uh, food items, I grabbed these bacon pieces. They're McCormick. These are good just to throw in a salad or mashed potatoes. Um, I also grabbed this Swanson Chicken a la King. I've been wanting to try this and I think it might be good with like pasta or something. It has a lot of sodium, but I think it's gonna be good. And I grabbed some of this spicy Thai chili from Bumblebee. I have regular tuna, but I love this spicy Thai chili kind and I don't have any, so I did grab this pack. I also grabbed these Hun Hungry Jack original hash brown potatoes. Um, I just wanted to try them. I've seen them a lot and I don't know, we'll see how they work. And then I grabbed my favorite Ru Russell Stover marshmallow, marshmallow and caramel candies. And I think I'm gonna put these in the freezer because normally I just keep them out like in a dish on the counter, but I think they might be really good frozen. So I'm gonna throw them in there. And then just kind of some other kitchen. I, I needed some parchment paper, I ran out, so I grabbed a roll of that. And office supply stuff, it was a complete disaster at my store. I knew I had seen these there the last time I was at Dollar Tree, this poster tech, because I wanted to hang up my like little school poster thing that I made in front of my desk. Um, and I knew I'd seen it, but it was just so messy, like I couldn't find it. It took me a little while and I had to dig for it, but I finally found it. They also had no whiteout, which is actually something that I need. And I was like really disappointed that I wasn't able to find. Um, like I said, the whole area was just very disheveled. But so I, I grabbed that poster tack and then I also found these, which I feel like these are old too, but they just put them out at my store these little stationary sets. I grabbed the one with the black plastic and the little light bulb um, cards and yellow envelopes and notebook paper. Um, because I've been seeing people haul notebooks 
like one of them has it's black and it has a bunch of light bulbs on it and then the inside it has like a yellow border and then just a plain white center and I think it would be really cute to get one of those and put it with this set and you know give it to someone as a small gift so that's why I got that and then I grabbed this foam stand because I have one of these um, that I use in I keep it in my like next to my bed and I'll just like watch videos on my phone and use it to prop that up but I find that I'm constantly like going to get it out of my bedroom and I use it at my desk to like hold my phone while I'm doing schoolwork or I'll I'll use it when I'm working out like I'll put it um, I usually do like workout videos from YouTube and I watch them on my phone so I'll usually just put this like on this cabinet back here and then set my phone up on it and then I'll do the workout like in the living room um, and I just thought like it'd be nice to have another one sorry I'm like waving and yeah um, finally like I know these have been out multiple times but I've never ever found them at any of my stores and I grabbed this because I really like the look of it I think it's very kind of farmhouse and I actually bought this for a specific purpose so I have these kind of little motivational cards and I've been using this paper clip kind of as a stand and I prop it up um, on my desk lamp but I bought this so that I can like clip and I switch these cards out like every couple of days and I bought this so I can like clip the card in there and I won't have to use the paper clip and it'll have its own little frame um, but it's really cute and they had a whole bunch of them and they have a lot of really nice new picture frames so if you need any see if your Dollar Tree has gotten their new stuff and then I just found this in an M cap I was like walking by it was the only one there and I just thought it was really beautiful and I was like you know what I am going to get it it is like Easter season it's Lent I thought this is gonna be really nice and I'm actually planning on putting it in my bedroom like I have a bookcase in there and I think this will look really really nice there but isn't it beautiful and last thing I got they put out fairy garden stuff like one thing at a time so they finally had these little squares and um, I just picked one of these up so that I can do a little like fairy garden scenario and it would be in this nice little cube Although this little grass stuff came out all over the inside of my bag, I'm gonna have to like clean it out. Um, they had these and then they also put out two of the like dessert fairy garden stuff. So one of them was like a little cupcake fairy house and then one of them was the Ferris wheel. And I was looking at them and they were really cute and I think I would get it if I could get like the whole set but since they're only putting like things one or two things out at a time each week I don't know that I would collect the whole thing and I wouldn't want to like use those with my other fairy garden stuff so I just got this because I knew like it's pretty basic it's just like a little picket fence with flowers so I can use this with any of my other fairy garden stuff and looks like that's it from Dollar Tree let me how much did I spend there? I know I have the receipt here somewhere. I spent $33.21. And <laughs> I was living a little bit dangerously. But when I went to Home Goods, so when I left the house, I checked my bank account and I had like $129. And I was like, okay, that should be enough for me to, you know, go to Trader Joe's, go to Dollar Tree, and then go to Home Goods because I was going to Home Goods specifically to look for a salad spinner and a little teapot. And so I got to Home Goods and I ended up getting a lot more than I thought um, I was going to get because they had some stuff on clearance and they just had some really cute Easter stuff. And I was in the checkout line and I was like trying to remember how much I'd spent at Dollar Tree and Trader Joe's because I was like, I don't know if I have enough money. <laughs> And I'm glad, like, I logged into my bank account, I, um, and then I quickly, like, transferred some money because I only had $42 left in my bank account, and I ended up spending $56 at Home Goods. And I was, like, in line trying to transfer the money, and fortunately it went through. Um, 
but I don't know if y'all like to live as dangerously with your debit card debit card balances as I do, but yeah, that was like in a panic. Um, first thing, I know I'm getting, I just showed you guys this morning that I'm getting rid of mugs, but I just saw this one and I thought it was so, so pretty. And I kind of have like various different styles in my house um, and I like various different styles, but in my desk area, it's more like boho. Um, and so I think this will be really nice when I'm just like sitting and doing schoolwork or in Zoom meetings. I can use this cup for my tea and just have it at my desk. Um, but isn't it gorgeous? It's this light pink color and then it has the evil eye on it with gold and it's beautiful blue color. And this was $3.99. That's the little star inside. Um, but yeah, I just, I don't know. It grabbed my attention and, and I loved it. This next thing I got for my mother for an Easter gift. I don't know if I'm gonna send it to her though because I don't want it to break in the mail because um, I got two pieces. The first is this like little three compartment thing. It has bunnies and sunflowers or maybe they're just regular flowers <laughs> with the yellow center. And um, this was only $7.99. And then I also got the matching little basket. And this was also $7.99. So it's the basket, again, the flower, and then a little bunny sticking out here. Um, and I just feel like something like this is really fragile and it would break if I put it in a package and mailed it to her. So I'm gonna call her right after this cause that's, I haven't talked to her in a couple of weeks and um, I finally have some time today, but I'm gonna show them to her and I'm, I'm just gonna ask her like, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to keep them here until you come visit? Um, or like, if she wants me to try and mail them, I can, I'm just worried that they'll break. Um, so those were the two things that I grabbed for her. And this thing, I, I don't know, like, I feel like I want to reorganize my desk a little bit. I have like two, they're kind of like shelves on the bottom of my desk where I keep most of my supplies. But I found this and I thought it would be really nice. I like the idea of being able to put my phone there. Um, as I mentioned to you guys, that's kind of why I bought another one of those little Dollar Tree phone holders. Um, because I've been using it a lot at my desk. Um, but that other one, like I can use just for my workouts in front of the TV. Um, but this, I can like put my phone in here and there's a like hole in this part and in the very back where I can put like the power cord charger. Um, and I like even tested it out with my phone in the store and it fits nicely in here, it stands up. And then this is a little compartment where I can put like paper clips or binder clips. And then back here, it's actually big enough, like you can put pens and markers and things, but it's actually big enough to put like a small notebook. Um, here, like I have one of these from Dollar Tree and it fits perfectly. Um, and I feel like that's just gonna be really handy or I can put like sticky notes. Um, and normally I keep them in this little basket here, like my pens and my sticky notes, but I just, find that it may be easier if I have it out on my desk with a place to put my phone. Um, and they had two, a couple of different styles of this. This one was actually a little more expensive than what I wanted to pay. It was $12.99, but it is kind of like a heavy stone material. And I just loved that it had the hole for the power cord. Um, but they had some other ones that were really nice. Like one of them was fabric, like a gray fabric. And that one was only $6.99. Um, but I just, like I, I know myself and I would like buy the other one just because it was cheaper, but really want this one. So I just went ahead and got it. And I'm gonna like redo my desk. And then these items were all on clearance. So the first thing that I got was this keto syrup. It's from Jordan's Skinny Syrups and it's in the cinnamon dolce flavor. I love cinnamon dolce lattes. Um, and this one actually has MCT oil, which I've heard is like really good. It's zero carbs, zero sugar, 
and this is normally $4.99 and it was on clearance for $2. They also had a peanut butter cup flavor, but I just didn't think I would like that one as much in coffee. Um, but yeah, I grabbed this, thought I would try it just to add a little flavor with, you know, no sugar. And I'm thinking the MCT oil kind of fills you up a little more. I don't know. I don't know that much about it, but I'll have to look into it. But I grabbed that and I thought for $2, like it's worth a shot and it doesn't expire until 10 of 22. And then the next thing I got was this Teavana Youth Berry. It's a white tea um, with notes of wild orange blossom. And I was looking through the ingredients and it has apple, white tea, hibiscus, rose hips, candied mango, orange peels, candied pineapple, and rose petals. And those just sounded like really amazing to me. And as I mentioned to you guys, I've been into tea a lot more lately just because the weather's been really cold and I'm finding that caffeine is, I can only handle so much caffeine because I get really jittery if I have too much of it. And being like indoors and at home, um, I'm not burning off as much as that of that caffeine so even having like an, a whole cup of coffee gets me a little bit like jittery so I've been drinking a lot of tea and this one just sounded delicious and this was also on clearance normally $3.99 and they had it for $2 um, and it, I think it's gonna be amazing and then this so at school in the next couple of weeks some of my classmates and I are planning on having a little get together it's going to be under 10 people and we've all been like testing for covid regularly and none of us have been traveling so it's not going to be like a huge thing or anything but we are going to get together and I'm thinking of doing like individual little um drink like cocktail gift bags um but we will need like ice uh, for all of the drinks but everyone will have their own little individual straw and their like little alcohol and their little mixer. I'm thinking of doing something like that um, and this was like a nice little ice bucket and it was normally $7.99 but I got it for $4.50. I'll just have to get like a little metal scoop or something to get the ice. And then the whole reason that I went to Home Goods was to look for a salad spinner, which I didn't find one, um, and then to look for a teapot. And they only had two styles of teapots, and I wasn't in love with either one of them. And they were also $12.99, which I thought was a little like higher than what I wanted to pay. Um, but I was looking around and I found this, and this is like absolutely perfect, and it's exactly what I wanted. So I wanted the teapots because um, I've been drinking tea throughout the day, but I've been making each cup individually or I'm having to like reheat the water in my electric kettle. Um, and I was like, I just want something where I can make a couple of cups of tea and, you know, just keep it in the teapot and, and keep refilling my cup throughout the day. Um, and then I was thinking, well, with a regular teacup, the tea's still gonna cool down. But this is actually like a carafe and you can put coffee in it too, but it's insulated. And you know, you can put your drink in there so I can make like a big batch of tea and drink it throughout the entire morning or afternoon. And um, it's just plain black and it was actually cheaper. So it was only $9.99. So I didn't even know that this is what I wanted, but this is exactly what I wanted. And I'm really happy.